Right, so uh, what we have is two of these, uh, these are little um, dev boards I've been working on. Um, this is a Raspberry Pi Pico, um, so the microcontroller version of the Raspberry Pi. And then this is a, um, a breakout board. Um, so what we have is a microphone unit, uh, an I2S microphone, um, a little speaker, uh, well, audio amp driver, um, I2S decoder, so an output um, and a, a small speaker connected. Um, and then just some buttons and LEDs really, and, and some, some debugging and test points. Um, now, so we have two, two identical boards. Um, these are both connected to the Wi-Fi, the green light on, so we know they're already connected to Wi-Fi and connected into MQTT. Um, and these are simple walkie talkies basically. So I can uh, use the press the talk button on this one and talk in here, and you hear the audio coming out of the other one. Um, so you can see also when I press the press the button on this one, the red light will come on saying it's transmitting and the green light for receive will come on on the other one um, with you know very, very low latency. Um, so that's the, the general um, piece I've been working on for a while. What I've been doing this weekend um, is I've hooked in a, well, in the old radio terms, we'd call this phone patch. Um, so we can now uh, dial in from the PSTN. Uh, so we'll use a, um, a carrier into Jambones, um, which we just dial a number and basically we, we just get connected instantly. Um, and now through DTMF, um, I can control, uh, I can I can talk to these units. So uh, first of all, we just join the channel. So they're both on channel one. So I'll just send a one uh, and let's put it on speaker so you can hear. And then what we're using is uh, the star and hash because obviously with uh, with a phone call and DTMF, you don't really have a, a push to talk. I can't hold down a DTMF key while I'm talking. So it's kind of a, a switch mode. So star is transmit, star and uh, hash is, is release, is, is end. So if I press star, we'll hear a little tone and we should see the green lights come on on both. There, and now if I talk into the phone, oh, this one's got a slightly, there we go, a slightly loose solder connection on that board. One, two. One, two. But there's the audio coming but through. So that's coming out the speaker. So coming out the speaker. And if I press hash, it releases and uh, we stop transmitting. Similarly, uh, I can change channels. So if I tell this one uh, I'm going to change to channel two, uh, and obviously I've got nothing to receive on channel two, but if I transmit, we see, although we're transmitting, um, neither of them are actually receiving because they're only listening on, a, on that channel. Stop that one. Uh, if I change back to channel one and then transmit again, and we're connected. And we end. So, um, let's hang that up. Yeah, basically, that's uh, that's what we've done. So, we've got a an existing um, project I'm working on, which is a push to talk in a in a microcontroller in a five dollar kind of um, or ten dollar very cheap board, very low power. Um, these are currently connected over USB just for power, but uh, the intention is to get this down to something about the same size as the um, the actual Pi Pico itself, like a little little shim board that sits on the back of it with a speaker and a microphone and a small battery, and you have a, a tiny wearable push to talk device that can work between them, um, some some control for channels and things. But we can now uh, we can now with Jambones dial in via the uh, via the phone network as well and bridge the two.